Are you xenophobic? Please explain. The fact is that a lot of them are There are 3,000 people, well. Pauline. They've actually met medication. They're getting their medication. They're actually they're alcoholics, so they're, they're being looked after that way. A lot of these people are from non-English speaking backgrounds. Probably English is their second language. Learn to speak English when you come here to this country. That's a big problem that we have in Australia. I believe we are in danger of being swamped by Asians. They have their own culture and religion, form ghettos and do not assimilate. Now we are in danger of being swamped by Muslims. I think we need to make a very tough stance and put out clear message, refugees are not welcome here. I'm quite happy to remove this because this is not what should belong in this parliament. We have about half a million Australians in this country of the Islamic faith. It is absolutely consistent with being a good law-abiding Australian and being a strict adherent Muslim. And to ridicule that community, to drive it into a corner, to mock its religious garments is an appalling thing to do. And I would ask you to reflect on what you have done. Order. And a lot of the gays don't even agree with same-sex marriage either. They don't want to get married. With the inequalities that are being promoted by the government and paid for by the taxpayer under the assumption that Aboriginals are the most disadvantaged people in Australia. With you, I'm Indigenous. I was born here. I'm native to the land. She's Indigenous. Yes, I am. Do you know the word Indigenous? Yeah, I do. Native to the yeah. land. I was born here. If I, if, where's my land if it's not Australia? England. You are a very young person. Now, you quoted your age as 42. That is still very young. Not so much in age I'm talking about here, but in knowledge. What I would like to see you do, Pauline, is to be educated. George Floyd had been made out to be a martyr. It sickened me to see people holding up signs saying, Black Lives Matter in memory of this American criminal. I'm sorry, but all lives matter. It is indeed okay to be white. Such a simple sentence should go without saying, but I suspect many members in this place would struggle to say it. If we cannot agree on this, I think it's safe to say any white racism is well and truly rife in our society. Oh, wow. <laughs> Said it each. It is a very sad day in Australian politics when members on the floor of Parliament cannot support a notice motion that I moved yesterday stating that it is okay to be white and that, it, uh, that and I will read it quickly, that the Senate acknowledge the deplorable rise of anti-white racism and attacks on Western civilization. Let me put it in this analogy. We have a disease, we vaccinate ourselves against it. Islam is a disease. We need to vaccinate ourselves against that. Xenophobia means a fear of all things foreign. No, I don't think I am. No, I'm not. Is there, is there a problem? Just because I might be... I find this very hard because I have to sort of clarify all my what I think and how I feel about things. Precisely, isn't it? Yeah. Well, precisely, because you are a federal politician. You're not just sitting. We're not just sitting around in a pub talking about things.